Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the freezer evaporator fan motor assembly in your refrigerator, be sure to unplug the power cord. Fully open the freezer drawer and use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to partially unthread the two top screws, securing the drawer front to the glides. Lift the drawer front up to detach it from the glides. Next, use a large flathead screwdriver to help detach the left and right drawer stops. Lift out the center drawer. Detach the main freezer drawer bin assembly from the glides and set it aside. Release the support bar collar and you can remove the support bar. Using a quarter inch socket or nut driver, Unthread the two front mounting screws, securing the left main drawer slide assembly. Pull the assembly forward to remove. Depress the tabs to release the upper freezer drawer and set the drawer aside. Next, unthread the front screws securing the left upper drawer slide assembly. Pull the assembly forward and set it aside. Now unthread the screws securing the evaporator cover. Detach the thermistor cover and release the thermistor from the cover. Fully remove the evaporator cover. Remove the insulation block as well. We recommend placing a towel over the evaporator to prevent the screws from falling in. Now unthread the two evaporator fan motor housing mounting screws. Pull the housing forward and disconnect the two heater wires. Detach the evaporator sensor. Disconnect the two wire connectors. Detach the two grounding wires and you can fully remove the housing assembly. Use needle nose pliers to detach the two wire retainers. Pull off the fan blade. Depress the tabs to release the fan motor support bracket and you can remove the old evaporator fan motor assembly. Prepare the new evaporator fan motor assembly for installation by transferring the grommet from the old fan motor to the new one. Position the new motor and wires in the housing and snap the support into place.
Slide on the fan blade. Snap the wire retainers into the housing. Make sure both insulating shields are in place, then reposition the housing. Thread the mounting screws. Connect the wire connectors and attach the grounding wires to the evaporator housing. Snap the sensor onto the evaporator tubing. Connect the heater wires. Realign the insulation block in the evaporator cover. Align the thermistor wire in the notch as you reposition the evaporator cover. Secure the cover with the screws. Secure the thermistor in the thermistor cover and snap the cover onto the evaporator cover. Reinstall the left upper drawer slide assembly and thread the front screw. Replace the upper drawer. Reinstall the left main drawer slide assembly by positioning it on the liner and mounting posts, then push back. Thread the mounting screws to secure. Reinstall the support bar and snap the collar into place to secure. Replace the main drawer bin assembly. Reinstall the center drawer, then snap the left and right drawer stops into position. With the freezer drawer glides fully extended, you can reinstall the drawer front by aligning the plastic studs and the mounting screws with the bracket slots. Tighten the two screws. Plug the power cord back in and your refrigerator should be ready for use.